The launch today of this 24-hour state-of-the-art facility here at Hermanus at uh, the uh, South African National Space Agency has been lauded uh, by partners, uh, research partners from across the continent, um, as, as well as the UK and the US. And joining me to speak about uh, what exactly will be taking place at uh, this 24-hour uh, space weather station is uh, the Minister uh, for Higher Education, uh, Science and Innovation, Dr. Bladen. Zimande, uh, Dr. Zimande, very warm good day to you, sir. So behind us, it is an extremely impressive uh, uh, visual that we are getting in. Of course, uh, the scientists, the space scientists will, will understand this a little bit better than I do. But let us talk about um, the importance of a launch uh, of this kind, of the center, some, some 70 million rand invested here. Let, let's talk about what brought about the establishment of this new center. It's an extremely exciting day for myself and my staff, but I also dare say for South Africa. Because this is the first uh, international space weather center in the whole of the African continent. Mm. And it's only one of only five in the whole world of such centers that provide weather services to the aviation industry primarily, because it's no longer enough now just to provide the weather conditions in the atmosphere where we are. We now also need to look at space weather, which is further, further away, in order to properly understand its impact on generally the weather, the aviation sector. But this is more important more than just the aviation sector. It's important for agriculture, because from space we can be able to actually detect changing conditions You know that may affect certain crops in future as we actually go forward. It's also important for the mining industry, by the way, in terms of what we can be able to detect through satellites, you know, from, from space and weather conditions from space and what impact they could actually have on Earth. Now, this center is, is, is one of the five in the world that are recognized by the International Civil Aviation Organization, which is a United Nations agency that brings together all the countries of the world to cooperate around civil aviation. So this facility is recognized by them. Uh, and we've built it here in Hermanus, you know, in South Africa, which actually continues to show for us the prowess of South African science, which is respected worldwide, as you know, in terms of COVID. This is another feather cap you know, in South African science. Doctor, I was, I was um, asking a professor from the United States just now, um, you know, about South Africa's role um, in monitoring space, monitoring space weather, but also our long history. I mean, uh, the, the SANS has been uh, operating here in Hermanus. Um, the center has been here for some, what, 80, 80 years. Yes. Um, so we, we have a very rich history in, 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 in space sciences, not so? Yes, indeed, we do have a very rich history in space science. And that is why around 2009 we decided to pull together various entities of government, associated with government, that were working in the space uh, science area into one. And we actually established SANSA, our National Space Agency, which now is actually doing this wonderful work. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, by the way, we are at the moment working together with uh, the United States Space Agency, SANS, uh, NASA. And uh, it's, it also wants to use South Africa as one place to monitor its satellites to the moon. And South Africa will be one of the countries which will actually be able to, to do that. So this is very important. But also I do need to say, by the way, that much as it is important to understand space and its potential impact on Earth, but also space science enables us actually, what we've managed to do, we've mapped all the informal settlements in South Africa. We've got details of them, where they are located, what services are there, what services are not there, by using satellites. That's very important. We also deployed our satellites, by the way, now, under SANSA, with the disasters that happened in KZN, you know, the natural disasters. You know, we are able to show through detailed satellites where exactly damage has happened and we are able to even begin to cost that. So this knowledge of space science is very crucial also for the challenges that we actually face 
in our country.